Hi friends, I want to show you one more capability of printf. Printf is a very powerful function. Already I told you, it can retrieve data, it can display data, it can format data, it can write multiple data items in one line. That I show you. Actually, this is part of your output. Uh, already you have seen. For this, we are writing four, four printf statements. If you want, gradually you must learn, you must learn, uh, you behave like a professional. This is the only student's approach. So, you can write one line also. You try, little practice is required. Because you should have clear idea which output you are writing. Then you can write. Now, I have already written that. However, in the code also, separately I showed this. What you are doing, you find out. First, this output you want to print. Okay. First, new line sequence I need not explain. Which data you want to produce first? You want to produce character data that you are writing. And uh, this is one side, this is control string, it is a list of variables. You call it a control string. So, second part, a list of variables. You have to write in prompt shape. And now you see. Now, percentage C you have written here. That means you want to print a character. What is the corresponding, where your character is stored? The item. This is the one. This is one. It should be perfectly matched. Okay. Next, you want a tab. That's why horizontal tab we have written. Thereafter, what you are expecting? Percentage D, integer you are expecting. This is the second one. What is the corresponding one? This is to perfectly have to write. If you write just like that and all that, you purchase your headache. Nobody will help you. Okay. Thereafter, you are expecting one horizontal tab. Then we are writing. Thereafter, what you are writing? Rate you are writing. It is represented by percentage G. That is the third one. This is the third one. Okay. Next. Again, horizontal tab is required. One tab we want to create. This is horizontal tab. Again, amount to be uh, printed. That is the fourth item. This is the fourth item. Okay. And one more point. Here, you should not use commas. Here, you can use spaces, new line sequence, horizontal tab, etc. New line sequence I used, horizontal tab I used. But, as far as uh, second part, list of variables are concerned, every item should be separated by comma. Otherwise, it leads to error. Okay. Here, don't use commas. Don't use commas. Okay. Here, you must use comma as a separator. And here, two parts should be, two parts should be separated by a comma. This is called list of control strings. List of, con not, whole thing is control string. List of conversion specifiers. Conversion specifiers. These all terms perfectly used. All, this is a conversion, this is a conversion specifier. This is another one. This is for char. This is for int. This is for float. Okay. So, these are conversion specifier. In control string only. Control string. Only you should write conversion specifiers and escape sequences. This side, the matching list of variables. In the same order, you have to write. If order is missing, list error. Suppose, rate, if you write rate here, numbers here or uh, numbers here, item here, list to error. Perfect, 100% matching should be there. Then you write like this. First, you don't write. First, complete the program. You get the output. You'll be satisfied with that. Now, you make an experiment. Uh, this this program, don't copy that. You, you may commit errors. No issue. But only thing, ultimately, you must write. And uh, next project, next programs and all, we write like that. Okay. We should be very smart in programming. Understand? For that purpose, every time you have to learn new things and implement them.